believe it passed us by the nine with no issue. Has to kind of punch the cue ball off the rail, a little bit dicey. Looks like he may have just gotten away with this. Referee keeping a keen eye behind him on the legality of the hit. Yeah, Marcel Eckhart does not miss a trick. Certainly awkward. Oh. Oh. Oh, Judd. My goodness. I said before that he wasn't going to play the exhibition shots towards the end of racks because it's important stuff, but that one was. Yeah, this guy's just a, a little different. Right. Eight nil ahead, Judd Trump. Well, it was quite the fluke to get underway, but look where the one ball has come to rest. Immediately on top of the cue ball. Beauty there. Legal hit, he had the angle to, to sort of caress that one in. I think what we're witnessing here, even for filler, is just a degree of acclimatization and also one has to say early nerves absolutely Phil looks like he's banking it cross side a very aggressive choice and he handles it beautifully open for a little love here does get that kind of awkward angle where I'll have to let his stroke out bit Chipping of low the, right the black eight ball out that wasn't surely part of the plan so rack five hangs in the balance but it does, and it looks like Joshua's trying to see if he has just enough to to thin the five, or if he has to kick. He's going with the ladder. Oh my, Phil! Oh, well, that's not too bad there, guys. I mean, my goodness. Well, that is a kick extraordinaire, and for Joseph Blyler, a kick in the teeth. I think he's hooked on the two from the eight. Looks a little bit displeased and uh, I'll take a first uh, first look at Filler's jump cue prowess. All of these guys jump so well at the highest levels. I think Filler's right up there with anybody. I mean, come on, guys, what's going on? You know, it's, it's, when they're straight, it's one thing, but to just jump, slice it down the rail and come one, two across is, uh, wow. One, we suspected that nothing is gonna be safe for him. The thing I'm impressed is that he's breaking off so well. Now, the next aspect, which provides a question, is he able to jump, and if so, how well can he jump? Right. Well, there's the answer. Right. A lot of these guys would have jumped it, off, you know, already. But I mean, when you can do that, who needs the jump cue? Lovely, Mr. Trump. Round of applause. I mean, that was beautiful. In the game, pool that is. The jump shot seemed anathema to us. Yeah. Oh my. Oh. What a delightful little kick he got off the seven there. That was really a, a thing of beauty. Stick that in the highlight reel. I don't think he has enough to make it in the side, although he's getting right over it, so maybe he does. I'll return safe. Ah, and... Oh, and that's lovely there. Wow, my. Freezes him on the ball, proclivating all sorts of kicks. Beautiful touch there from Trump. That. <laughs> Deliberate foul. Just tie something else up or something like that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you, you're going to be second favourite against Shane when you're playing tactics, but 
The worst thing he could do here is if he did try and go for it and foul and break the balls up while hit the eight ball. Oh, oh that was well, that was outstanding. That is the kick shot of the day. Yeah, I mean it really looked like a tall order when he was over it taking that route. Nicely struck. Spectacles a fairly rare sight, but we do see it. As you guys can see there, they're taller at the top, so of course we don't peer over them. He's got a fire at a bank shot here. Yeah, I mean, easier said than done, but uh, I agree. I, I, I don't think we can. I think we have to go here for Candela. Try to put this one away. Get on the board. There very, she very nice. goes. And a respectful round of applause from the fans. So he's going to leave a little soft kick for, for Jason, I believe. And Jason, oh, well, he may kick to the top rail here trying to make this 4-5 combination. If he can get a little underneath it, I think it goes right on in, Phil. And the pennies drop for Daniel as well. Daniel knows it's definitely possible, so he won't kill this, right? But he wants to hit the, maybe the rail first right before the pink should make the purple. And there you go. Mental error by the Filipino. Yeah, nothing's gone his way. A lot had to do with Jason Shaw, but that's got to go and it's going to end up perfect. Nice five rail position there, Phil, to probably end this match. Only five rails, he that's can do it better than five. that. Come on, Jason. <laughs> and it was totally intended the way he played it, too. There was not any luck, it was just struck perfectly. He's a little steep. He probably just takes the cut shot on the three. One thing in Dennis, he has all the shots. Looks like he's coming it with a little right English. So. Oh, he took it to oh, the other beauty pocket, there. So. <laughs> yeah. If that gives you any clue about comfort. Right. He's got to go over a piece of the seven. Now, this is interesting. You know, he could roll out here and not take this chance on a jump shot when you're considering if he's a pretty good favorite in the match. Very interesting. I mean, a, a hyper aggressive choice. My goodness, Jeremy. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dennis knows what he's doing. Uh, I, I mean, many have sort of held the position, yourself included. When he gets going, he's right he in there. It looks pretty, pretty risky. You may just pocket the ball, and then you get to see him take a tough Tough three ball. He's on jacked there. up though, Jeremy. Wow, he got that ball to come out. Yeah, this is the real deal, ladies and gentlemen. One of the very best in the world. Well, it looks like to me he can handle the cue ball a little better for the corner, but the side's a little easier to make. So see how much speed's on the cue ball there. Really couldn't determine what was going to happen. But. As you said, he, he opted to go for the easier pocket and kind of let the cue ball go a little bit. Got away with it. Yeah. Yeah, he's feeling it now, Jeremy. Yeah, showing it all really there. We're here at back. the boardwalk. Well, the, the nine was one heck of a shot, but the two ball. You want to see one heck of a shot, the two ball to start that rack. That was a beauty. Yeah. Displayed power and accuracy. Seven, you can see it there. You know, tight match like we were talking about before. He might think that jumping is. Uh, is he coming around underneath the nine, below the six, one, two, into the two? Well, and pros I mean, to the seven. That's uh, that's just outstanding there. Well, you had mentioned there, the Filipinos, probably the greatest players ever to go to the rail first with the cue ball. This two ball goes, you can see it'd be a pretty shot between the three seven. Yeah. Oh, beauty there from, from Sponstra. Pretty shot indeed. And Thank it's, the two. You know, kind of your thing. You know, you have to make sure that somebody heard it. Right.
Looks like he's trying to nestle behind that seven ball and he's handled wow. that nicely. That's Good touch. Do you like two rails into the one or just one rail? I do. Uh, I do like two rails because it's make the ball bigger if you kind of play it from the rail. Yeah. She went one rail though and this has worked out beautifully. Great job. Interesting. Have a look at Trump's break. It's actually taken quite well to the nine ball break. I know, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. So we call that a great break with a bad roll at the end. Oh. I think he might still be able to chop this ball in. Yeah. Bank it to the side. Um, I don't really see many options here, Alvin. I think the bank shot might be the only shot he's got. Oh, how about cross corner, gentlemen? Well, yeah. like Bankful Alvin player. said earlier, <laughs> that was different. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that one cross corner. I was thinking cross no. side for sure. Naturally, that was not ideal. No, I'm not sure if he wanted to go back to the side or leave the cue ball there. Perhaps he also wasn't sure. Look at this shot. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice bank there. He's going to have a go at the cut here, his favorite pocket. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to see he gets it. I'm going to say he chops it in. Please. Right you are, wow. Jason. Good shot there. Nice shot. Chopped it in, he does. What a great feeling that must be for Patel to cut the lead to 3-2. What the angle he wanted. Probably to go again like a uh, two-rail draw. Yeah, you're going to see him put a big stroke on this ball and try and come round the back of the six. Yeah, and very nicely, nicely done. done, yeah. Beauty there. Crowd lets him hear it. And Carl said to me, he actually doesn't enjoy playing when he's all dressed up, long sleeve shirt, and I think this is more comfortable for him. Nicely handled there. Yeah, that was a real nice shot there from Judd. Good speed, nice touch. Yep, job well done. Kelly's in trouble. She won't be jumping this one, Phil. That cue ball is too close to the red three. What a career she's had in two sports. Women's World Snooker Champion and indeed Women's World English Billiards Champion. Then she came over to the States. Now, what's that illegal contact? Marcel Eckhart was there. No foul called. I'll tell you what, that was close. Well said, Kelly Fisher. Well played by Earl Strickland. Wow, beautiful. Split the hole, Phil. Yep. <laughs> this is certainly a bit of an awkward angle. Let's let's see. Let's defer to the great. Perhaps a cross-side bank he's attempting here. Oh, and he's done it nicely. Look at that ball just slowly roll into the hole. And he'll play the six in the same pocket where the five just dropped.
after manufacturing that shot, Nick, he deserved better than he got. He did. That was beautifully executed. Jumped over the eight, drew the cue ball back ever so slightly. Unfortunately, he hit the eight so full in the face. My word, he's jumping again, Phil. Thank eight you, is so close to the cue ball. Vigorously chalking here. See if he can do it again, guys. Tell you what, I mean, this is a nice little start to this rack for uh, Palahanovic. Two jump shots in a row. This one was just really sublime. I mean, the eight and the cue ball were so close to each other. Just outstanding what they can do with the jump cues nowadays. Well, he caught that so thin, he actually caught it again coming back. And if he's got away with that, he's been extremely fortunate. Yeah, that's right. He, he almost missed the one on the way in and then caught it from behind. And he has gotten away with it in some capacity. And let's see what Filler has for us in, in regards to a kick safety of sorts. Oh, what a good little stroke he put on that. Small little hitch at the end. Appropriate amount of spin, leaves a return safe. This is certainly almost an underrated part of his game. He just has so much firepower. We, we all think of him as this offensive juggernaut, but his, his safety play and, and kicking game is extraordinary as well. That notion as well. Some work from the one to the two though. Well, crunch. Nick, you just used a word there. Now, he could actually play the jump shot here. That would guarantee the hit. Going off the left rail, it is a big ball. I think it's key for Judd just to hit the ball. Oh, he's played it well. He's a secret pool player. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he, that, that's the shot you want to hit there. Um, I'm not sure if he's playing it to hit it like that, um, but all in all, good outcome and good shot. Yeah, I mean, it, that wasn't going to be easy for any pool player, really, to kick that safe, so... What a great shot that is. Yeah, he's played that lovely. People have been talking about his kicking skills, but that was a beautiful shot. Uh, I said that when I, when I started, I said, I don't think his kicking will be bad. I really don't. I yeah, I think there have been two portions of his tactical play. One is that sometimes he doesn't see an obvious shot that someone more experienced would, but when he tries to play a shot, the execution is normally very tidy. Indeed, and nicely done here, although the 1-2 carom might be fairly makeable for a player like Shaw. I think he'll want to apply a lot of right-hand spin to this one. He's looking at it now. Try to come off of the left side of the one into the two. Done very nicely. Just nicks the seven, and I believe he's perfect. I don't think the purple four ball precludes his sight. This is a treacherous shot trying to go three rails with the cue ball here. It's a really nice find, Jeremy, whether he does or not. To just float out and play for the bank does seem quite logical. He does punch it across. I mean, when you hit him like that, why not? What wow. a beaut. Wow. Yeah, they love to hear it. Yeah, Trump will appreciate that stroke there. That's a yeah, we've seen two different speeds on the first two breaks. We'll see what happens here.
figured it out, Carl. He's trying to make them all. <laughs> That's the secret, right? <laughs> tell you one thing I want, want my finger trapped between the cue ball and the pack as he breaks off I'll tell you what he does do well though he does shoot over a ball very well I think uh, maybe the, the shape he's in you know he's so he's in such good shape stays very steady over the ball got to help in this situation yeah he's just took the little extension off the back of his cue yeah, what a shot well you were right JJ that is a wonderful shot yeah, I mean, it's one thing to shoot over a ball with a ball hanging, but that ball out in the middle of the table and to roll it in purely and go forward with the cue ball. Some shot there. You're always delicate when you have to cut a ball initially to play a combo. Oh, well, pardon me. Everybody knows Billy's bank prowess. For whatever reason, I overlooked it, but he played it like it was straight in, Phil. Billy the banker, he won the Banks division at the Midwest Open this year. He's always dangerous when it comes to that part of the game. So he's got previous when it comes to beating the, the state siders. Absolutely, and he has that big match experience, the Pando. What a lovely shot that was there from Billy. Kicked one, two behind the two, just slid over behind that red three. So that was lovely execution there. And it looks like Mario's surveying a jump shot. Well, it's not a foul at the moment, but if the ball hits it, it would be. Oh, but Billy the banker on the money. We saw a conventional pot from Mario He that was terrific, but that got the crowd fired up. To bank that with the cue ball and the object ball so close together, brilliant from the man from Dayton, Ohio. That is known, you know, as the gem city. And this shot was an absolute gem. That it was, Phil, what a beauty. And that will make Mario He feel even more sore than he was when he originally missed the nine ball. See what Mario comes with. Oh, he put a beautiful stroke on that, a kind of punch, but but commitment. And it's 3-3 here on the boardwalk. Mario, he wins the match. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, indeed. I suppose even playing safe is an option, although he seems just solely focused on the combo. Would you hit with this one with some speed, maybe, Carl, to have the two going to the rail and out? Yeah, I think you're right. You can see there with lovely camera angle that he's definitely moving towards that eight. Oh, it's a wonderful oh, what a great shot. shot. Man. Yeah, and he's been rewarded. He does have a shot. It's a thin one, but it definitely passes the three ball. Don't want to get too cute here if you play that shot as to not get snookered behind the balls after breaking them up. Oh, and he put a lovely stroke on that one. Great call, Carl. Beauty there. Yeah, I just called it. He played it wonderful. A really nice shot there from Yap. Looking good. Yeah, it was a nice stroke. The referee will keep a keen eye on this one. Naturally, he has to strike the purple before the brown. And I do believe he'll be taking on this bank cross corner. Bravo. He's got it all, this young man. He really does. These are the type when they hit it, they make it about 30% of the time, probably 20% of the time, something like that. Yeah, there you go. And let me tell you folks, Jeremy Jones, Calls it right 100% of the time. Well, I don't know about that. 50% at the table would be fine by me, but it's just they get a great feel for it. And they're trying to hit that side of the ball. And Van Boning desperate to reassert himself, get back into the flow 
of the initial phase of the match. He's taking them on too. What a shot. Center pocket there. We have a match on our hands, boys. Now Shane could be jumping this ball as well because he's only got a little piece of it. Yeah, he's jumping it. Watch out for that opposite corner for the cue ball. What a shot, especially in this circumstance. And he went to the full cue there, really wanting to draw the cue ball. That was a big reason why he didn't pull out the shorter jump cue and get behind the 80. Has to move the two into a bad position as well. Should get this snooker, though, even though touchy. Shot. And the nine's really stopping the one real kick here. So you may see a yap tie the eight up and just concede ball in hand. Put the eight on top of the two. I mean, what else are you going to do? Another player is on the hill on table two. Dennis Acolio, 10 6 up on Mario He. Dennis is a guy that the Euros don't see all the time, but they certainly know how great he is. What a shot. What a shot and a big reward there, it looks like, on a great kick shot from the app. Even hitting the ball is a bit tricky. The seven impedes a natural route towards the one. Well, he's coming underneath this because if he gets into the rail, he could make the one off the four in the corner by the six here. He was hit underneath this just oh like my. that. Yeah, it looked like it was dead to me. <laughs> Great call, Jeremy. It looked like it was dead to Carlo as well. What a shot. Yeah. Yeah, I'll endorse what Nick said. Cracking call, Jeremy. By the way, Jeremy, did he just kick that thing right in? Yeah, Not no, he hit behind off of the it. purple? Off the purple, yeah. Oh, what a shot. Where everything is so sublime in terms of execution, except for that break over the years which kind of adds to his lore. Tough one here. I was going to say, is he playing the three rail safety? Oh. A huge mistake that he got away with. Right. Surprised he didn't entertain cutting the one and coming across and, and at least having a look at the three uh, from a little bit of a tough position. But the one was easy, right? I mean, the one was a playable ball. I also assumed he would cut it in and, and like you said, possibly fall nicely on the three to make it and if not play safety on the three as we see Alcady is going upstairs very close to his work here. Oh my. Oh, what a shot. He's got to make a big decision here at 7-6. And try and get this. He'd love to just miss the seven ball kicking from behind and try and get the two on the top rail. There's always a chance that can happen when you're kicking that way, so he will have known that. On that shot, the worst of it is when it hits the jaw and comes back. That's uh, every player's worst nightmare from that shot, and it's a danger. Kelly, do you like a slow roll here of sorts? It's Never really like a slow roll, to be <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> no, it makes it a lot more difficult. Um, I think he's going to have to play it with power, yeah. Yeah, very well said. And has he circumvented the black eight ball? It is close. I believe he has. What a beauty that was, Carl. Yeah, that was an absolute exhibition shot there from Yap. Because if he hits the five first, he might not get a look at this. He'd love to just flick the pink four. Well, how do you like that for a shot? And he's over this ball awfully quickly. He seems to see the route right away. Beautiful shot. 
the Filipinos, they are known for their kicking ability. And that was, well, that was right from the top draw, that one. Yeah, that was. And I'll tell you, if he hits it correct, medium speed, he could slide the cue ball back by the eight for a little bit of safety as well. It's got to come two rails, maybe has to draw it a hair. Yeah, and that, that's what, oh, look at that. That's, that's a great view. There we go. Naoki Oi loving life, loving that shot. Off a couple of rails, and Jeremy Jones spied what he would do. Well, two of the three racks he's won, he's done so in spectacular fashion. The first one, potting four balls off the break. And there, that one nine combination with double contact on cushions beforehand. He's got this reputation quite rightly for being a laugh a minute. Dennis well versed with the bridge. Rather small fella, shades of Parika. Oh, beauty here. When I tell you, in my mind, Difficult bridge shot will show you as much comfort in a player as anything. Such but, a tough shot, but you're probably right. Yeah, there's not much. And he has one second to execute, that's and that's shot. exactly what he did, Jeremy. Yeah. And he hit it beautifully well if that doesn't scratch in the corner. That's a great shot. Yeah. For me, the best shot of the match so far. This is it, and the one come back down table. Maybe the cue ball comes one rail and gets behind the two eight, something like that. Got a long ways to go over a heavy five ball. He overcut it. He's still going to get the separation, but he is going to leave a little bit of. I don't know, maybe not. Thought at first that one was going to come clean for Dennis. I think it. I think it has. I believe he has a window between the two eight. And it slides past the pink, not to say it's an easy shot. He's looking at it now, but he's already down over it. Cross corner with a high ball. All right, you are, Jeremy. And how about right in the heart of the hole? Yeah. Position on the two in the same corner, I believe. Great shot there. Typically inventive. Got to hit it at light speed. Don't, don't want to bobble this ball. Very hard to miss if you. Oh, man. What a nice, aggressive oh, stroke. What a player this kid is. Has all the shots, Jeremy. Offensive, defensive, and everything in between. Beautifully struck here. Look how crisply he hit this. He, he looks like he's going for it. He has not eyed another shot since jumping out of his seat. It's a little bit far off the rail, though. Yeah, but if you, again, don't baby it, you have a good chance here. Top English, couple ways to make it. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so like, oh, wow. Wow. This is drama on following Diago. He must feel, well, he must feel a little out of sorts over there. Yeah, unfortunate for Carlo, but did you think it was maybe a suspect play there on the nine by Carlo? Yeah, I mean, I'd, have, I'd have gone the old free railer in the side pocket. <laughs> yeah, can Beardo pot this two ball and make something happen? Can he swing this match back in his favor? Well, he likes taking on the tough shot, and it looks like he's sizing it up, so... And I bet this one isn't rolled like the last one, Carl. Normally, when he takes on the tough shot, he's shooting it in with some authority. Oh, my. What a shot from Carlo Beato to get back in this match. That was sensational. It really was. Still needs another good shot. Yeah, he can, but... He tries to cut it in. You know that scratch across the corner is looming. He goes real first here. I might have to kick under this. I don't know. Oh, he's swerving the cue ball. Well, oh, as you said, Jeremy, oh, looming. 
But avoid a great shot from Nao Yuki Oi. He'll have to show us something else. Yeah, look how quick he pulled the trigger on this once he got over it. A bit of uncertainty, but he knew he had to gamble. Kick, kick this with a little top English here. Bring the cue ball back behind the six. Oh, oh he, he played it cross side and he made it. What a shot from Oi. The crowd are loving the Ukiyoi. Kicks two balls in to stay at the table. Now he has got a chance of pocketing this in one of the sides if he hits it full. Yeah, but watch him cover up the three with the. Oh, he hit it hard. I thought he would hit it much lighter. He's going to use the pink again. Oh, shot here. What a match this has been. Oh, that's why. The real smart people have come to realize it's not really the beauty in the game isn't always the break and run, is it? Maybe off the eight, though. Watch out for the, what did you call it, the bumblebee? Coming off the one with the cue ball into the nine, nine off the eight. Ooh, wow. Oh, how about just making the one? Coming all the way around for perfect position on the three. What a shot. <laughs> And I get a feeling of a free roll for Carlo, meaning, you know, he when you watch the interview, it was very personal to him that he had never made this final before. Now in the final, you may see him loosen up for an option so he can slide across it heavy and come to this side of the nine. He can long rail bank this ball, which I'm not in love with. I like the safety here, I believe, anyways. Looks like he may be playing the bank. Wow. I hit it sweet. Well, indeed, he played it. And what a shot it was. And that's the atypical kind of shot that really tells me about our game as a sport. You know, day in, day out, you may say safety, but we're here in the finals. And his gut instinct said, I need to bank at this one. And that's one of the many things I love wow. about watching Yap play. Yeah, he can't quite drag the cue ball in with a lot of left, can he, Nick? And maybe. Hit the one a little heavier. Well, he's fooled me so many times with that kind of stroke. It looks like he is going low with left. I think he's drawing it. Maybe into the three. Watch out, corner pocket. Watch out, corner pocket. Oh, wow. Oh, what a stroke. <laughs> that camera angle tells me he does have a little piece. Maybe a little piece to try to. Oh, he's curving it. Oh, you're right, Jeremy. So watch out for the point. If he hits it full, though, he's going down by the three with the cue ball. Like that. Oh, oh. wow. What a shot. Oh, my goodness. What a shot. It's just marvelous. He even broke the three out for dessert. Well, the, that was maybe a little, in, you know, unintentional. But, you know, that's all feel. But that was entirely the plan. Uh, come across it and slide the cue ball safe. When you get into the, the safety bear pit with the Filipinos, better bring some armory. Well, they're playing the game, Jeremy. Yeah, and that's why the tighter pockets, the wooden rack, you know, matchroom pool, they really understand. It's about keeping the integrity in the game. That way we see all the game. And you know it's so true. These last few matches, amount of playing, and wow, look at that! Trying to cut off the kick. He's special. I mean, he really is a special young player. Hmm. Can he kick four rails here? He's going to try and come between the four seven, tight between the four six, back between the four six to the fourth rail, and lay on the two ball. Oh, good call, Jeremy. And, and has he's he trying. just gotten there? Watch the rail. Oh. No rail. What an effort, though. Fantastic try. Third spot, please. Well, those who booed, did they boo the rules? Did they boo the referee? Both were adhered to perfectly. No rail hit. It was cruel. It was cruel. But they are the rules. Are we looking at a nine ball going towards the corner here? I think maybe. No, he's going to play the mild one. 
On perfect speed, it looks like. Beautifully executed. Wow, these guys, you know, aren't just playing safeties, but look at the kick shots they're leaving. The six is in the way. He's got to come to the bottom cushion, a very funny way to kick at the ball. He's got to route the cue ball up and down. Hair of inside English. Now he hit it sweet. He's going to right between the oh, six that's and nine. Outstanding wow. there. I couldn't agree more. It's an astute find, Jeremy. These are the little things that, that add up, of course. We do rate him to make this. He hasn't been totally dialed extension, with this please. jump cue extension called. Yeah, he's, it seems to me that he's overhit most of them, so he's lost a little accuracy. I kind of hit, hit the ball a little Didn't overhit that one, though, Double J. What a shot. If I may, briefly, I was going to say you defeated Tarika in that final That's right. right yeah. so another great Filipino who came oh so close. I what a shot three this Three times was. in the final he lost, maybe. <laughs> so. That's a tough, uh, tough one to swallow. Illustrious career, though. Believe us, this is a lot more difficult than it may look on your screen. You just combination, you size it up like he's doing, and then you just have to trust what you're seeing, make the stroke. Oh, my. And they love it here in Atlantic City. It's a combination of skill and nerve that's taken Biardo to the brink of being just one behind. angle yeah well percentages led towards a Filipino champion with four making it to the final eight we thought Yap was going to overcome all of that but looks like Carlo's going to get it done well he's falling a little bit awkward Jeremy he's yeah. got the bridge in his hand welcome, not a sir. ton of angle a little stretch, not the easiest to follow through, not the easiest to punch. Oh, He's what home. A shot. What a shot. The Philippines have another one. Yes, the Philippines are going to be back to pool preeminence. Traditionally jumping on the table, and who can blame him? Sent to the one loss side of the draw after losing his fourth match, but then with the heart of a Filipino lion, he's fought back, and he fought back in this match. Yeah, tremendous time. Aloysius well Yap led 8-3, but then the nine ball went astray, and Carlo Biardo never looked back from there. He won 10 Very consecutive well racks well to capture this title. And he emulates the great Efren Reyes by being a US Open champion from the Philippines.